Alright, we're going to finish up this day's lesson on 3-1 and we're going to take a look at common and natural logarithms. And this may have some important for you in your college courses, it just depends on how they structure it. But what we have here is, we call the base 10 logs, anything with a log base 10, a common logarithm. And that goes back, uh, not just in uh, recent history, but way back because 10 is uh, the base that we work with in our number system. You know, 10, 100, 1,000, so on. And uh, it's very, very convenient. But historically, when people were working these out by hand, doing the hard arithmetic prior to calculators, they came up with all these tables of logarithms, common logarithms. And in my days, when I went to college, uh, because I was in a no calculator college, uh, I started off at A&M, uh, we had to use these log tables to compute our math, you know, find our solutions or compute things. Well, now with the advent of calculators and more and more colleges starting to uh, allow calculators in their classrooms, this is not as big of a deal as uh, it might have been uh, once uh, before. But um, I asked my daughter, she's at uh, West Texas A&M, she's about to graduate with her biology degree, and she had to do this by hand. She had to do the conversion formulas. She had to do everything by hand. So um, a lot of the more serious schools are still doing it by hand. If you're going to be a liberal arts major at a private school or out of state, uh, odds are you're going to get to use a calculator. Alrighty, so we're going to take a look at this. Basically, when you talk about log 100, it's defaulted with a 10 right here. So you can say this is 10 to the x power is equal to 100. Well, that's just going to be 2. It's going to equal to 2. And um, you shouldn't need a calculator for these type of things. Again, we're going to have, if we put this x, this is going to be 10 to the x is equal to 10,000. I have put 1,000 in the calculator because I wasn't seeing, but that's going to equal, x is going to equal to 4. All right. All right. So here is something that's a little bit harder to compute. So we're going to use a calculator. And you do get to use calculator on some of your work. Your test will be half calculator, half non-calculator. So if you want to think of it as this, what power uh, do you have to raise 10 to to get 12.5? It's just going to be a smidge over 1. And if you look on the log tables, you're going to get about 1.096, so on. Now take a look at this one, log to the negative 11th power. What it's asking is, what do you raise 10, what power to the 10th is equal to negative 11? And this is where we have to watch out. We should automatically recognize we're not taking a log of a negative number because there's no value for x in the real number system or any other number system that I know of that can give me a negative 11 here. If x is a negative 5, that's just going to be 1 over 10 to the fifth power, a very small fraction. So this is not possible. There's no solution. No solution, not possible. You'll get an error message in your calculator. Alrighty, and the natural log. Again, when I s talked about the number E, Euler's number, um, 2.7, blah, blah, blah. It goes on forever. It's sort of like a special number like pi. Um, it pops up huge in our natural sciences and in finances. So we're going to use the logarithmic or the inverse function of our uh, E to the uh, X power type stuff. So when we want to write this, Think of this as um, our base. So we could just call this ln4. And I could have worked it. I could have done log, take log on both sides, base e to the e to the x is equal to log base e to the 4, right? Well, that cancels out, and this is going to be x is equal to, and log base e is just ln4. That's all we're doing. Well, you can do this process if you want or just have it memorized. Uh, that's going to be your call. All right. So this is just going to be, this is log base E. So that's going to be ln of uh, 10 is equal to x. That's all we're doing. So write the logarithmic equation in exponential form. Well, now we're just going backwards is all we're doing. So E is my base, right? E is the base. That's my exponent. So E to the 3 is equal to x. E is my base, so e to the x is equal to 8. And we can play around with a little bit more algebra if we so desired. Now to evaluate, all we need to do is we can put this in the calculator. You have an ln button on your calculator. 
But keep in mind, ln is just log base e, e to the 4.6. So you have this to that, that cancels out. We can move the 4.6 in the front, 4.6 log base e to the e, that's just a 1. So it's going to equal to 4.6. Didn't need a calculator for that one. This one, I'd have to look on log tables or something because I can't do this in my head. All right, basically, um, you just knock it out and plug it in, just like you did there. Um, because it would be very hard to do e to the x is equal to 7 and figure out what that x is. All righty. Change of base. Now, this is, again, something that some of you will see in the future and some of you will not. Depends on what school you go to. Um, again, I asked my daughter, who was more recent in college and, than I was, <laughs> by a bit, um, and she had to do change of base in her school. So all you're doing is basically if you're going to do in base 10 or base E, these are the common ones to work with. There's no other reason to do it otherwise because you're using the log tables uh, if you're not using a calculator. And uh, you're just going to convert it. So here's an example here, log of four, log base 425. This is going to go on the top, so you're going to do the common log on top. I don't have to write the 10 here. And I'm going to do log of 4. And I can leave, and when you're doing college, you just leave it like that if you have no calculator. And you look on your tables and come up with your decimals and then calculate it from that. Or you could just put it in the calculator like this. All right, log 25 over log 4. But our calculators, you can actually type in your unique base and uh, take your log off of that. Natural logs work the very same way. I could convert anything into a natural log. So if I wanted to, I could call this ln of 12, okay, over ln of 2. Absolutely can do it that way, okay? And I will get the same answer, or I can use a calculator. So this right here is not a big deal for probably more than half the students in this class. Because if you go to a college where they allow calculators, the whole point of this is because you don't have access to calculators. Now keep in mind, I'm, I'm going to say this more than once. We study math not just to get answers, but to train our brain to become more analytical and more logical. One of the reasons colleges don't allow calculators in the first place is because that is their purpose. You may be an English major and say, I'm never going to do logs in my life. But the fact that you can prove and demonstrate mathematical concepts, make that logical argument through mathematics, you're going to be able to translate that and write better papers. Um, and I'm, I'm actually living proof of that uh, because I was an editor for books for a while. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and get this um, published and move on to 3-2.